Hello everyone, and welcome back to Neo. Uh, shit, I just kicked a toolbox. Uh, we have just made it past this little pass here. Oh shit, they're alive. That uh, I thought would lead to a side area, but instead led to a shortcut? Question mark? Oh, that's right, I can lock on. But I have no idea where I'm going, because there are like 20 different paths right now. So, I'm going to start exploring, and hope to God I go the right way. What the hell is going on? <laughs> My guy just decided to dance for a bit. Let's see. Okay, well, I can survive attacks from them at least. Although I'd rather not tank any. <laughs> Eesh, shake. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do that. Alright. There you go. You did. So, uh. I'll take it. Again, I think I can sell this stuff, so I'm gonna take it anyway. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, so because you're telling me to go that way, I'm gonna go the other way. I think there are two other ways I can go. Yeah, up these stairs and then down a little path down at the bottom. Hmm. Everywhere seems like the right way right now. See, that's what I fucking mean. Every way seems like the right way. Oh. What in the hell? Ah! If you ever see something like that happening, it's because pretty much every controller I have right now is busted in some way, so they all either dead zone or fucking glitch the hell out. So, I'm a little fucked with controllers right now, sadly. What? Why is this room here? This room can't serve no purpose. What? Why is there room here? Okay. I guess. Why? What's that here? There's a whole lot of nothing in these areas. There's some here. Looks like I might need to escape from the top of that tower. How can I get up there? Um, by not dying, preferably. Ow! That range, Jesus. Oh my lord. Yep. Well. God damn. Retry. Okay. Well. Luckily I don't lose shit, so I just go back. I lose a bit of dignity. Yeah, yeah, I really need to get new controllers. Ooh. 
<laughs> Just like I ain't fucking having it. God damn it, Earth. I need to. Said uh, something is gonna be the end of me. Alright. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah. God damn. I'm getting better stuff all around. Fucking hell. Right, so let's see. This thing is strong attack break and strong attack damage. This one has the health of this. That's actually pretty good. If I remember correctly, key is um, the stamina of this game. Give me extra life. Yes. Oh well. Ooh, hi. You're a sneaky son of a bitch. Oh, damn, son. Are you kidding me? So much for a finisher. I need to check out if that battle axe is better. Whew, God. You do a lot of friggin' damage, dude. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Uh, check my equipment. Th this is, from what I remember of the uh, demo, this is pretty much the whole game. It's just checking your equipment to see what's better. Switch this for a new basket sword. Yeah, I drop it now. Yeah, that was way better. Sweet. All right. Got some nice armor now. Ooh. Gauntlets, I got a helmet. Uh, is this all that's back here? Greaves. Oh, okay. Okay. That's actually pretty decent. So if, like, you don't get these drops from them, you can pick it up from those chests. I like that. Alright. Alright. Range weapon, range weapon, range weapon. Let's play. So let's see. That raises it significantly. A little more life, more toughness, and more defense. Hell yeah, that is way better. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Just a little better. Eh. Eh. I'll take it. Eh. Um. Too, really. <sighs> Fucking piss. That's so annoying that every one of my controllers is so fucked. This axe does so much goddamn damage. Yeah, yeah. Eh, that's I know it probably has some better side stats, but oh well. So, uh. Oh! I get it. Okay. I'm stupid. Not like it really matters, because, um. He's dead. And he's easy to kill, but oh well. Let's see. So, seems to be the only way to go now. That sounded bad. Oh, hi. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Um, are you kidding me? Please tell me there's a second stage to this fight. This guy's easier than most enemies. He's easier than the knights. Are you kidding me? Tell me there's a second stage. I'm sure if I saved up my stones to this point, I could kill him with stones. Are you joking? You're kidding right now, right? Ah, it's you. The man with the guardian spirit. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. Oh. It's time for your execution. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, by the way, they're totally um I can't remember what the Japanese games are called. Are they called yokai? Am I stupid? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, there we go. More proper boss. Ow! Kill him? I'm sure you can, but well, come on. Quite a feat. 
I'll just do that at another point. So much anime. Well, now you're really gonna drown because you're wearing fucking heavy plate mail and you just got shot in the back and fall in water. Yeah, you're really dead now. I should be sinking to the bottom of this fucking ocean. I really need to- are they called yoga? Hold up. I need to fucking look this up. Yeah, they're called yokai. The journey was not an enjoyable one. During two years' voyage, the Helloff was lost. The trow sank, while the hope vanished without a trace. The good news of the Blyder boats up was nothing but lies. Only leaf that remained. An ironic twist. For what awaited us in the Far East wasn't love. It was monsters and death. Well, there you go. Neo. Oh. Okay. I, why even is that? Pair of batons. Um, hmm, what do I want to go for? I'm going to go for, hmm, hmm. What do I want to do? Fuck. <laughs> huh. Um. I know I want to go for a sword of some kind, so either this, this, or this. Go for dual swords, why not? Oh, okay. 
So I get to choose two. I'm gonna go for that one then. Weird. I, I, I don't get this. So is this like a sort of tutorial telling me what to do? Ooh, I get a spear down. Wolf and Guardian Spirit of the Fire Elemental. Strengthens the attacking power of those in I'm gonna go for the wolf. Yes. If you are a first time player, we recommend playing the tutorial. Do you wish to begin a tutorial mission? Why the hell not? Even though I thought I just did the tutorial. Okay. The dojo is a training ground for samurai. It is filled with the blood, sweat, and tears of the uncounted warriors who polish their techniques within its walls. These long traditions and secrets are handed down from generation to generation of samurai. Do I do? Okay. So, I'm going to probably do this tutorial and then end the episode. Quick attack, strong attack. The quick attack is fast and doesn't consume much key, but only causes light damage. A strong attack is powerful but consumes more key and lowers your guard. If your key reaches zero, you will not be able to attack until it recovers. I'm not gonna worry about playing the movie. You yeah, probably get it. Can I, um, I don't know, use the weapon? Okay. I murdered my teammate. How do I change? Oh, okay. Yeah, alright. Alright, so the stance wheel gives you different attacks. I believe, um... Oh? What? I, I'm seeing something really... Oh! Oh, uh, mm hmm. Okay, so I accidentally just learned something. Hang on, let me um, explain the uh, wheel here first. So I believe it's low is quick and yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, but yeah, low is quick. Uh, medium is medium. And high is slow, but high damage. But what I just noticed is, um, keep an eye on the key or the stamina bar. There's a little white bar that once that fills up with an even brighter white bar, if I press R1, I regain all my key. Weirdly. Or at least whatever that uh, white bar allows for me to regain. Alright, let's see. Finish up this tutorial. Let's see, you lock on, switch target. When you lock onto an enemy, your camera stays focused on the target. It displays the target's health and key. Yeah, I don't need to play the movie. Oh, hi. It was really weird, but I kind of like that. I feel like I remember that. stance. Alright. 
Oh yeah, I already explained all this. High stance emphasizes attack power, it allows for powerful techniques. Mid stance is good for defense, it has a wide range of techniques and is easy to use. Low stance is good for dodging, it doesn't consume much ki, and also maintains your guard as you move. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, damn. Okay, weird. Huh. Oh, that's right. I remember that, actually. Alright. Okay. So, I remember because, um, doing that is actually faster than, um, sprinting. When uh, me and my friends were playing the beta, uh, I would always use a uh, high stance and then I'd switch to low stance for a quicker movement because it didn't uh, roll. Meanwhile, mid stance, once you do it enough, you roll, but low stance, you can just keep dashing. Yeah, alright, I remember that. Alright. Let's see here. Okay, medium stance. Yeah, I want some. Easy. Let's see where's the next one. Right, it's over here. Oh yeah, key pulse. While blue lights gather around your, you know, gather around you after an attack, a key pulse recovers your key. I just poked my eye. Fucking ow. Because I'm going to cut a bit out of this episode, this probably isn't going to be quite as long. But my timer says it's 30 minutes, so... <laughs> the amount varies based on your timing. The maximum amount is determined by your key gauge. Easy. Keep accidentally pressing it instead of holding it. Yokai Realm. That... Told me right there. Uh, yokai realm and purification. Yokai realm, another world born from the yokai. When you are in the yokai realm, your key speed, uh, your key recovery speed is greatly reduced. Conversely, the powers of the yokai themselves are enhanced there. Uh, great. Purify. You just suck my nose. Recovers the. Uh, recovers a maximum amount of ki from a successful ki pulse in the yokai realm. It also cleanses the defilement of the yokai realm from your person, restoring you to normal. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just right there. How long is this tutorial going to be? I'm not wanting this to be like an hour long fucking video of me just doing the tutorial. Oh, hi. God damn. Holy fuck. Oh lord! Okay, so this is shooting practice. Shoot, press R2 while holding L2, uh, switch ammo type, square for normal, triangle for special, press R3 to zoom. Ready your wange, uh, your wange weapon. <laughs> your wange weapon! Press R2 to shoot. Use R to move the reticle. Uh, Switch between types of ammo by pressing... You already explained that. Uh, some enemies have a weak spot. Landing a hit on their weak spot will deal greater damage and break their stance. The middle of the reticle will turn red when pointed at an enemy's weak spot. And the rest of the reticle will turn red the closer you are to an enemy. Okay.
Pick up everything. Range weapon, longbow, range weapon, musket. Easy. Am I supposed to shoot something specific? Oh, wrong one. Right. Um, am I supposed to shoot these? No. What am I supposed to shoot? Oh, you? <laughs> he did. This is the longest fucking tutorial in the goddamn world. Living weapons. Living weapon when the guardian spirit and read a gauge is full. Press circle plus triangle. Guardian spirit skill while living weapon is active. Press circle plus triangle. Okay. Triggering a, <laughs> Triggering a living weapon changes the health gauge, the gauge gauge, I say both apparently, um, and key gauge into the living weapon gauge. As long as the living weapon gauge is active, you are impervious <laughs> to damage and your close combat attacks inflict more damage. The living weapon gauge decreases over time and when enemy attacks land, Decreases over time and when enemy attacks land. I read that as a run-on sentence like an idiot. Once the gauge is fully depleted, its effects wear off. When a living weapon is active, pressing... You already explained that. <laughs> I did it. Okay. Fine, a fucking lane. Go forward. Yes. I assume there's still gonna be more of a kind of thingamabobber tutorial. Alright. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. So if you want to check out the unedited version of Let's Play, that'll be in the description below. And if you want to keep watching the edited version, that'll also be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.